Hey, what is up guys, it's Ogre1983 here and today's video is going to be an updated deck profile about the Bujin deck and this deck is really amazing, still capable of doing nice stuff and I really like this old school deck and this old school archetype and I really, really hope that uh, it will receive some new support in the future like a link monster, I don't know, something good uh, because there was there, there is still nothing really amazing to support this in the, in the new cards, upcoming cards. So uh, let's get started, and I hope you enjoy this part, this deck profile. So let's start with three copies of Bujin Yamato. Bujin Yamato is the main engine of the deck, uh, the main searcher. During the end phase, you can add one Bujin card from your deck to your hand, and then send one card from your hand to the graveyard. So uh, this is amazing and this de and the deck is all about Bujin Yamato, so uh, keeping Yamato on the field is the win condition for you and there are plenty of cards that will protect Yamato and plenty of ways to uh, let him stay on the field, so if Yamato is on the field you will win the game. Then we got two copies of Bujin Mikazuchi that combos really well with Yamato because it lets you add a Bujin spell or trap card. Um, Actually, you will usually add to your hand the Bush Incarnation because it's still a plus one and is a really good spell card. Then we got two copies of Bujin Hirume. Uh, Hirume is really nice because it's a Link Fodder. It's a XYZ rank 4 Fodder. Uh, it's a free special summon by banishing one Bujin monster from your graveyard. Uh, you won't actually play three copies of this one because if you, if you happen to draw this in your starting hand, it might not be so good because you don't have any target in your graveyard to banish to special summon it, so that's the reason why I'm playing just two copies of it. Then, for the other uh, Beast Warriors, we got one copy of Bujin Arasuda. Uh, Arasuda, just one copy because it's not the best one, but it's still a really good target for uh, the Ties of the Brethren. And then three copies of Bujin Hiruko. Uh, you can play none of these, you can play two of these. I decided to maximize on this one because uh, you can do really, really nice hand loops uh, and looping this uh, also three times since its effect, its pendulum effect is not once per turn. Uh, for who doesn't not know, uh, if you activate this in your pendulum zone, you can target one uh, XYZ Bushing Monster you control on the field, banish this card from the pendulum zone in order to special summon another uh, XYZ Bushing Monster from your extra deck uh, by overlaying it. Uh, on the other XYZ monster that was already on the field. So, uh, in for example, if you start with this one and you are able to make uh, something like uh, I don't know a Susanovo that, that you always do in this deck, as you know, you can then activate Susanovo's Susanovo's effect, uh, adding the second copy of Iruko, then activating the first Iruko, banish it, uh, especially someone maybe I don't know anything you you need that Tsukuyomi uh, a Kagutsuchi, an Amaterasu, and then uh, you can also activate the second one that you added through the Susanovo uh, in order to go again to Susanovo uh, that will detach another one, you can search another Iruko and then activating the third Iruko as well in order to go to another uh, XYZ play and keep looping them and if you loop Amaterasu, as you know, you can detach one especially some one of your banished cards so Iruko will get banished instantly and you will always have other targets so that's the reason why I want to maximize on them. Uh, if you want you can also play uh, Link, uh, sorry, uh, Pendulum Scale 5 in order to special summon all your monsters to, in order to Pendulum Summon, to pendulum summon them uh, because they are all uh, level 4s but I think that this ratio is okay. Then for the beasts, uh, not the beast warriors, we got three copies of Bujinji Crane. Uh, not honest in this version because I think that Crane is uh, enough and Crane is searchable, while Honest is not searchable. So I prefer the Crane over the Honest. You can play three of them. You can add it through uh, Susanovo, you can add it through uh, Yamato, so three is okay. Then we got two copies of Bujinji Hair. Uh, this will prevent uh, from uh, the destruction. Two copies of Bujinji Turtle that will prevent from uh, the targeting. So they are really okay to protect your uh, Yamato, as you know. 
Then, uh, moving forward, we got two copies of Bujinji Quilin. Quilin is really massive because uh, you can send it really easily to Graveyard and then you can uh, banish it to pop one face-up card. And it's really amazing, really strong. And then, last but not least, we got one Bujinji Sinew. Uh, Sinew is uh, the exact same thing of the Crane. So it acts like a uh, Honest but this is from the graveyard so you can banish it from the graveyard and then you got a honest ready to go and ready to protect your yamato once again then onto the spell cards we got a uh, triple ties of the brethren mvp of the deck of course and this is necessary really necessary uh, if uh, if you can you you would play six of them also more uh, three is the, the ratio you gotta play because if you start with any kind of uh, Beast Warrior plus uh, plus the uh, Tides of the Brethren, you will go with a board like uh, Yamato, Mikazuchi, and of course the Arasuda uh, just by paying 2000 life points. And then this tree will chain together, uh, adding one and sending one to the graveyard, adding Bush Incarnation, and drawing one and sending one to the graveyard once again. So uh, this play is really lit, and it's obvious the reason uh, why you gotta play three of this. Then uh, for the other three copies, we got three copies of Fire Formation Tanky, um, so you can add your Yamato as you need, and then you got the 100 extra boost, which is really okay. Then uh, two copies of Bush Incarnation, uh, Bush Incarnation, just two copies, not three, because it's searchable through uh, the Mikazuchi, and because uh, you won't have this in your starting hand because you don't have any. Uh, anything in your banished zone, so two copies is okay. Then double duality. Uh, duality is another way to go to your Yamato, so uh, that's why you gotta play it. Then double uh, uh, Galaxy Cyclone. Uh, this one in particular because mm, there are the Yamato effect that lets you discard one, so. Uh, if you want to keep for you maybe a crane, you can discard this one and then in the next turn activate this from the graveyard, banish it and, and destroy something. Then the one dark hole, uh, you can play Raigeki of course if you want. And the one uh, foolish burial. Uh, foolish burial is amazing, uh, pretty self explanatory in this deck. You can send everything and activate it in an easy way. Really strong with Quilling. If you got a Beast Warrior, you just. And go foolish and uh, you can pop one uh, for free then for the trap cards we got uh, the one bottomless trap hole you can play pretty much everything you want uh, two copies of uh, mirror forces you can play any kind of mirror force here that's why I just uh, use this as a proxy because you can really play any kind of trap you want one duration tribute you can play also multiples if you want any one uh, Breakthrough skill for the same reason of the Galaxy Cyclone because you can activate this also from the graveyard and it's a graveyard uh, base deck, so that's the reason behind this. Then, onto the extra deck, we got three copies, of course, mandatory of Bushintei uh, Susanovo. Uh, Susanovo is amazing, really easy to make in this deck. Uh, you will always do this, uh, and this is amazing because you can attack everything, any kind of monster on your opponent's field. And then uh, you can detach one in order to search one, and you can loop also all the Hirukos. Uh, as I said before, detaching this, adding a Hiruko, and then going to another XYZ monster. Then we got the one uh, Tsukuyomi to fix your hand, uh, easy to make in the same way. Uh, one Amaterasu, you can also play two if you want. Um, this is really nice now for the reason I said before for the Hiruko, so you can play it uh, in an easy way. If you got Susanovo, you can go Amaterasu whenever you want. Then you want uh, Kagutsuchi, still useful sometimes. Then for the other uh, generic rank force, we got uh, Utopia package, uh, this is supposed to be uh, Lightning, of course. Uh, then the one Gaga Cowboy, because um, if you can afford to play rank force and if you got space in your extra deck i think that you have to play now this uh for the new regulations and the time limit you know so in game three you can maybe just uh, easy win with the gaga -ga cowboy then uh the one uh 101 silent honor arc then the direwolf 
um, Tiger King and number 82 so you can play pretty much everything here and it's pretty random as I said before and then for Link Monsters you can play uh, as well uh, something you need something you want uh, generic Link 2 in the form of the Underclock Taker and generic Link 3 in the form of the Cold Talker so uh, that's it for today I really hope you enjoyed this deck profile and let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this deck uh, what are your thoughts if you think that uh, this will receive some support later in the future or not so I really hope you enjoyed this video if you got some suggestions please comment down below leave a like and subscribe to the channel to support me and see you in the next one